How's it going everyone? Music Lover back with another episode, and today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to try to work on a series to see if you guys like it. I'm going to review the uh, episodes of anime that I had watched during that season. Like, I watched, for this last season, I watched Gamers, I watched 18IF, My Hero Academia, uh, Classroom of the Elite. I watched a bunch of shows, and I, I kind of want to give my thoughts on them to see if you maybe want to give them a chance, and also... Maybe they'll go on a next season. But yeah, I'm going to try that out and see if you guys like it. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll continue. Um, yeah, but this episode I'm going to focus mainly on the show Gamers. Now the reason I wanted to start with the show Gamers is because I did my first impressions of Gamers several, several months ago when it first came out. I really liked it and I thought it was going to go a different way than it did. But I also still want a season 2 for it because I feel like the adventure is not over. For all of the show, minus the last episode, I really, really enjoyed it. These characters are fun, they're loving, and overall just a bunch of really dorky gamers that don't know what's going on in life. <laughs> the story is about this boy named Yamano and his love for games and how this girl named Tindo tries to invite him into this gaming club, but he doesn't want any part of it because he just loves games for games, not for the competition, he just wants them for fun. And we later find out that Tendo has this huge, huge crush on Amino, and it goes from there. We meet many other characters along the way. For instance, uh, his online character friend Momo, a gur like a Guri, something like that, I'm not sure. And several others. And it kind of goes on this love triangle slash just fun group of friends story. Now in this story, it's it's pretty much like a rom-com. Um, it takes place with all these different characters in this love triangle, but it also throws in these uh, gamer terms that <laughs> kind of make me laugh just because they use them in everyday life. Like they'll explain things based on what you would say in a game and it, it cracks me up. Uh, it's one of my favorite things about it. As cheesy as it was, it was still super fun. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the show until the very, very last episode. I was thinking we were going to get a conclusion to this love triangle, and instead we got a largely fan service, ridiculous bathing scene that pissed me off to no end. Um, I can deal with uh, fan service because, I mean, fan service is everywhere. It was evident in this show, but it felt like 90% of this episode was nothing but those kinds of shots and it was very frustrating for a season finale that I was hoping for some sort of resolution or some sort of big reveal but all we got was a lot of conversation that didn't really lead anywhere I felt and then a lot of scenes just for fan service and it was very very frustrating and I'm very disappointed. I still want a season two because I want to see this story come to a close. I want to see people happy. I want to see everybody's emotions and story out in the open. Like I want the Momo girl to be Momo and not have her sister be Momo. But I was very, very annoyed with the ending. Um, it felt more like filler in a mess and I just wanted the end. Um, they could have ended the show, but uh, I guess they didn't want to. Hopefully they're going to do a season two. But, like I said, I just hated the last episode. The rest of the show I enjoyed. Minor, like, fan service sections don't really bother me, but this was a large portion of the show. That was nothing but these types of shots, and it was very, very frustrating. I am not happy with it. But, what can I say? I'm not the director, I'm not the writer, I'm not the animator. They can do as they please, I just did not appreciate it. But other than that, let's get past the last episode. I did enjoy the fun that the show did bring, and I'm hoping for a season two. Um, I would recommend the show to people. Um, I just warned them on the last episode of fan service is not your thing, because it was kind of frustrating. But other than that, it's fun. It can be lighthearted. Amino is like other like all I can say is adorable, because he he has no idea what's going on except in the world of games and. He tries to apply that to real life and it seems like he fails very, very hard several times. But it's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, if season 2 comes out I will check it out. But if it's anything like the last episode I will definitely have to drop it because it was very, very frustrating. But yeah, I just want to talk a bit about it to see if maybe you guys wanted to check it out. Tell you guys my thoughts of it. Especially since I did a first impressions video, I wanted to do a 
ending impressions video, which is, I enjoyed it except for the last episode. I'm hoping they come to a conclusion with a season two, and if they don't, it just turned out to be like an eh anime for me because nothing that I wanted to be concluded was concluded. But yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun, minus that last episode, and I'm wanting to watch more. I hope you guys like this video. It's short and sweet. Try not to be robotic. If you guys liked it, thumbs up. Comment below if you have any thoughts on the show. I'd love to talk about it because I have not a lot of anime friends that watch anime with me, so please talk. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to my ramble. Have a wonderful day and peace.